Holy Trinity is a special place and has been for 100 years. There's a spirit here that unites us as a community. Exceptional students, parents, and educators working as a team to provide the best in Catholic education. Of course, we offer a rich curriculum based on best practices and focused on academic excellence, but it is truly the people that make the difference. Our students develop a heart for service as they model the teachings and values of St. Vincent de Paul. Holy Trinity is special to me because of how much faith is involved in our teaching. All of our teachers involve religion and faith a lot in our curriculum. It teaches you about God and the teachings of the Bible and I think that's the best thing ever to follow God. I love all the teachers and I love that they all treat us as if we're their own kids. The teachers make it just such a safe and caring environment. I learn a new thing every day and I learn so much here, not only about school but also about others. For some students in different schools you don't like going to school because it's boring but once you come to Holy Trinity it's actually very fun. You get to enjoy being with the teachers, the classes. It's really fun. It's like a family to me. They care. They'll help me through life. We have an education higher than most other Catholic schools and the public school system by far. You can't get a better education anywhere else than Holy Trinity. Nineteen fourteen is considered one of the most significant years of the 20th century. Charlie Chaplin would make his film debut. Charles E. Merrill founds the stockbroker's firm Merrill Lynch. Henry Ford introduces an assembly line for the Model T. Babe Ruth plays in his first Major League Baseball game. And in Washington, D.C., while President Woodrow Wilson resided in the White House, the first stone of the Lincoln Memorial was put into place. Outside America, the first steamboat passes through the Panama Canal. The first successful blood transfusion is performed in Brussels, and the assassination of the Archduke of Austria, Franz Ferdinand, sparked the beginning of World War I. Meanwhile, back in Texas, at the time, Dallas was the state's most populated city. That year, the city was chosen as the site for a Federal Reserve Bank. Ford Motors would open an auto assembly plant in Deep Ellum, and three miles north of downtown, the foundations for a vast Catholic community were being formed. Our parish started across the street where Turtle Creek Village is now. That was started by the Vincentians, University of Dallas, what was a high school and a college. Then in 1907, they built a little church on the same property right next to the University of Dallas and that was a, became Holy Trinity Parish. Prior to 1914, there were no parochial schools in Oak Lawn, so the parish turned a two-room building into Holy Trinity Catholic School. Starting with only 31 pupils, the Daughters of Charity considered to staffing the school. Daughters of Charity are founded by St. Vincent de Paul and St. Louise de Marillac. Our call in the church is to serve the poor. The parish itself was anything but poor, but we had many needy families in the parish boundaries. As time went on, the school began to serve more of those families. As the parish's congregation grew, so did the school's enrollment. Eventually, both outgrew their respective locations. My grandfather was Martin 
Carl Kloiser, and he was the architect for Holy Trinity Church, where it stands on the corner of Gilbert and Oaklawn. The school building at 3815 Oaklawn Avenue would reach its current outward appearance in 1947. However, Holy Trinity would continue to renovate the campus while the surrounding community transformed as well. When I went to school, there was a baseball diamond in the far corner. There was the kindergarten house, basically. We used to have a nice little garden that faced Gilbert Street. Oakland was, in those days, filled with big prairie-style homes. This whole area was called Vatican City. Our block, even on Avondale, had so many Catholic families on it. Over the past 100 years, Holy Trinity Catholic School and Parish have touched so many lives and created fond memories that will pass from generation to generation. My mother had passed away just before my third grade. And Sister Joanna, I remember calling me up to her desk and in a very kind, loving manner, just reassuring me that everything would be fine. Sister Lucy was amazing. She was about five feet tall, but she had all the fire that you can possibly imagine. And she just drove you to do your very, very best. When I think about why I went into education, I think part of the reason that I went into education was because of Sister Lucy. Mother was very involved as a, as a room mother. She was involved with the Mother's Club. She also was a volunteer worker in the cafeteria, a den mother for the Cub Scouts. Mother from 62 to age 80 managed the clinic. She was very good at discerning whether or not a child was actually sick or was just worried about a test that they might be taking. It has been a wonderful place to spend my life. Even though I've been retired now 22 years, I was on the staff for 44 years so that takes up 66 years of my life. When we sit in there for Mass, you almost, the emotions that come back to you and all the memories you have, it's a special place. It's a very friendly parish. I think everybody feels at home. There's just something you can really feel about Holy Trinity when you come here. For 28 years, this was my parish home, so I think that that speaks volumes about what what Holy Trinity is to me, a very, very important part of my life. Thank you. It continues for another hundred years and I hope it just gets better and better.